Welcome back to the Every Choice YouTube channel. In today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful illusion blouse with this ruffle. Okay, so I'll be putting us through and we're going to be cutting and sewing this blouse and attaching these beautiful ruffles that we have here. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So to make these illusion bodies, I'm working with these bodies that are already drafted. It's a princess that's posture pattern. If you don't know how to draft this, I have a detailed tutorial on this already on the channel. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change my neckline. I have a neckline of 3 by 3 inches, which is the natural neckline measurement here. So if you want to maintain this, it's fine. But for me, I want to increase the width of my neckline by 1 inch to make it 4 inches. And also, I have 3 inches by 3 inches for the... Okay, this is even 3 inches by 2 and a half. So for me, I want to make my neckline to be 4 inches by around four to four and a half inches okay so this is totally up to you it depends on what you want to work with so once i have that now i'm going to draw this to make a new neckline for me okay so i'm looking for a curve that is not going to be too sharp here i want this place to be a bit rhyme because of the illusion that i want to do i hope you can see what i'm doing okay so like i was saying i don't want the neckline to be in very sharp u form because of my illusion so i'm just going to draw a bit of my neckline Turn on my marker i hope you can see this okay so i have this now and then i'm just going to drop right straight to the illusion we are making so now we've done few of few illusion necklaces already on the channel but the one we're doing now is going to run from the neckline which is why i want this to be a bit flat from the neckline all the way to the hem so to do this this is the design that we're going for you can see what we have here so i'm going to be taking this measurement so you have to be careful taking this measurement because you don't want your bust to be showing by the time you're through with sewing your illusion neckline so which is why on my bust point on my but this is the armhole line this is the bust point where you have your nipple point this is the under bust and this is the waistline Okay, so now I'm going to be starting from my bust point. On my bust point, I'm going to be taking the measurement of 2 inches. What this means is that, remember this is just a half pattern. So, this 2 inches is going to be cut on fold and by the time we open it up, it's going to be 4 inches, which is fine for me. So, if you're comfortable with opening up more, you can do 2 and half, you can do 3 inches. And if you don't want it this big, you can just do 1 and half inches. So, by the time you open one and half inches up you're going to be having around three inches so here on my bust point i'm just going to measure two inches there also on my neckline that's where the illusion stops i want it a bit wide on the neckline so i'm just going to be increasing that by half and a quarter of an inch so on my neckline here i'm going to be measuring two and quarter which is why i decided to just make this as flat i don't want it to be too sharp this is what i mean by being too sharp if i draw it like this you can see that it's going to destroy the shape that i want for my illusion neckline so that's why i just decided to just make it a bit flat there before i connect it to my neck point i hope you get that but it all depends on what you want to achieve okay so you don't have to shape your neckline the way i'm shaping mine okay so you can see that this is blended in now so after measuring where i want this to stop on my bust point i've indicated where i want it to stop on my neckline also i'll go back to my under bust now and then i'm going to subtract like quarter of an inch from what i have here as two inches so this is just me doing what i want this is totally up to you you can do whatever it is that you want the, whatever shape that you want your neckline to follow is what you're going to be drawing on your pattern so by other bust i'm marking one and one and three quarter that's 1.75 reducing quarter of an inch from what i have on my bust so on the hem here now we have like a v-shape so to form this v-shape what i'm going to do is from my waist point here i'm going to go upwards by one inch or one and a quarter here and then here i'm going to measure 
one and quarter. I have one and half inch, one and quarter inch here, so I can just measure one and half or one and quarter here. But I'm just going to measure one and quarter, and one and quarter is here. So what I'm going to do is to connect this one and quarter to my V point. You can connect it sharp like sharp v to this edge or you just measure like quarter of an inch and stop here so that you have something like this so the next thing i'm doing now is to start connecting these points together so from here now i'm going to connect to this place and then make sure i blend it in so you can either connect it using your straight ruler or you use your slightly curved ruler like this so that it's not going to be too straight so now after i've connected to my boss point the next thing is to connect to my neckline okay so here now where I have this sharp V, I'm just trying to blend it in so that I'm not going to have anything too sharp. So you can see what I have there. So that is going to form my illusion. And I'm just going to cut this out. So this is my back panel. I already drafted the back panel also and you can see that it's longer the front panel is longer by two inches because of the bust that that i have here so for my back the neckline that i'm going for is going to be a very low back neckline so from my waistline here i'm just measuring like two inches upward to give me that very low back neckline and just like i did for the front i'll increase my neck width by four inches because you know we're going to be sewing the front and back together of course and then from there using my curved ruler i'm going to connect so you can see how low this neck is going to be so like i said again because i'm adding like a flounce to this so this is what i want you can do whatever neckline that you want and then i'm going to connect this to my to my zipper allowance so now i have my pattern like this and then i'm just going to cut this out okay so i'm cutting this now but i have a bust that is so i'm just going to cut off the dart that i have on my waist and on the butt so that i can close my two inches bust that okay so you can see i'm cutting this then after that i'm going to close this dart and then i'll be able to cut out my outfit so i'm just closing this and then i'm going to hold it with the masking tape Okay. you can see what i have here and then i'm putting my masking tape up so by the time you close it up it's going to match up with what you have on the back so you can see what i have here okay so i'm going to and i've cut out my neckline so this is going to be my illusion so you can write here that i'm going to be cutting this part on the neck while i'm going to be cutting the other bodies on my Ankara fabric so when you're cutting this also you make sure that that V point is not too sharp because you don't want it too sharp so this is going to be my illusion part this is going to be my center front so I'm going to cut this off this that is going off so I'll cut this on my Ankara and then I'll also cut this on my Ankara same thing for my back here i'm just going to cut out the neckline i'm not separating the dart so i'm just going to cut out my akara like this and then i'm going to take the dart and then so so this is my back you can see the neckline for the back is really deep and this is what i have for the front so i'm using this akara fabric and then i'm using this skin net for the center part so i'll cut this now and then we'll continue i to cut this on my fabric this is my center front this is the side front this is the back and this is my illusion net so i just added allowance to join this back so what i just need to do now is to sew my side to the center front and then i'm going to go ahead and sew the illusion here you can see so it's just going to fit right into it so i'm going to sew this now for both sides and then i'm going to join them on the sides on the side seam by placing the front and back together so i'll go ahead and sew this first and then i'll bring it back to show so at this point if you want to add a word into here to pad your breast cup you can add it i also have a tutorial on how you can cut out the wording for your bossier 
blouse so you can check that out if you don't know how to but i'm not going to add anything to this i'll just sew it and bring it back to show us okay so i'm gonna head to sew this now you can see that i joined my that okay the sides to the center front then i went ahead to join my illusion so if you are going to be adding lining to this you cut your your ankara or the same way the, your ankara lining the same way you cut your main fabric and then you just sew it here and then use it to cover it up so i have a tutorial on how you can line this also but i'm not going to be fixing lining to this so after doing this after fixing your lining you need to you need to hard lining in fact because you don't want it to be this rough so you are going to be notching this curved point so that it can relax well for you so after notching it you turn your neckline with your lining and you're good to go so now i'll take this to the mannequin so that we can see what this looks like so to make this ruffle all you just need to do is to measure around where you're going to be making when you're going to be placing this so i'm going to start from the back from my deep v-shape on the back here i'll start from my zipper area from the lower back and then i'll go through the neckline and then from the neckline this is my shoulder i'm going to the front i'll go through the neck front the neckline of the front bodies and then i'm going to go through my illusion and then i stopped here so you can see i have to lift 35 and half because this is just an half length but if you want to extend it to the skirt part of your dress you can just add maybe five or six inches to this so if i'm adding five inches to this i have one two three four five so i'll stop at 40 and a half or i just make it 41 which means the place that i'm putting this is going to be 41 inches in length so to know the width you're working with i'm going to measure again from my from where my illusion from where my rough is going to start which is here so to this side you decide how wide you want it to be so i think i like it around here this is four inches so this four inches now for you to be puffy and just form that puffy effects for you you can just multiply this by two then you have eight inches or you just multiply by two and a half inches depending on what you want so if i'm working with a length of 41 inches i'm just going to add i'm just going to make my width to be around 10 inches so i have 41 inches by 10 inches so now i've taken care of the width i've multiplied it by around two and a half so for my length now because of the gathers that i'm going to do that the more gathers you have the more puffy your roughly is going to come out so i'm going to multiply the 41 inches that i have by three so i'll go cut a long strip of fabric of around 125 inches length by 10 inches so i'm using this doll face and i'm gonna have to cut this on my doll face so the 120 inches is very long i don't have it all together so you can see that i just joined together here but if you want, don't want to join it you just cut it on your yardage side remember you can have as much as four or five yard but i'm just cutting it on the length and the length of this is just 60 inches so i had to cut two of this and then i just joined it on the side so i have a fabric of around 120 inches in length it's very long and the width here is just around 10 inches so i just after uh, having my 10 inches i added allowance to it i added seam allowance to it to make it 11 inches because i'm going to be sewing it on both sides so i have 11 inches or so here okay i have around 12 inches here so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to go to my machine and run a gather stitch here so after running a gather stitch i've run my gather stitch because i don't want this too long i'm going to gather this to so i'm going to gather this to the 41 inches that i started with so you can see how i'm gathering it you just gather it carefully to your 41 inches and then i'm going to show us where how we're going to fix this okay so i've gone ahead to gather this and this is what i have so i've gathered this now and remember i said i want to gather this to 41 but it's not full enough so i'll just check what i have here and that is what i'm going to use so this means that if you want to do your so i have around 23 so you can multiply your your actual measurement by four to five inches so that you have very full ruffles like what i have here i want it really full 
so i'm just going to stop this here if it's not for just the front i'm going to use it for the front so you can see what i have here so the next thing i'm going to do now is to bring in my bodies so if you're working with fabrics like doll face like this you may want to serge it at the edges like this you can see how the fabric keeps frailing so you serge it so that it's not going to be giving you problems like this so now i'm going to place this like this i'm putting it on just one side so you just decide to do yours on the other side and you do exactly the same thing we are doing on one side so now i'm going to place it you can see the way i've i've turned it like this i'm going to place it on it like this and then i'll pin it so this is right side facing right side so by the time i place it and i fold it it's going to be neat so now i'm going to place it now i'm going to pin it along this line that i want to fix it so before i pin it remember i said it's possible you want to extend it to the skirt area so i'm just going to leave a little bit so that i'll use that to show us how we can do that and then i'm going to take my pin now i just pin along this i'm pinning along this illusion line the illusion that we created okay so now i've pinned this along this line this that line you can see how i print it and then i went ahead to just sew it down so you can see my seam i just sew it down along that line and then i went through my shoulder up to where it can get to on my back okay so now if i turn the turn it you're going to see what this is going to look like okay so this is the other side this is the side we are adding these ruffles to and this is what we have okay so you can do this before joining your side seam so let me just rip this side seam so that we can open it up okay so i've ripped the seam now you can see that it is opening up this is the center front this is the front and this is the back and this is the shoulder seam so now after sewing it like this i'm just going to flip it over so when i flip it over this is what this is going to look like so now the next thing now is for me to mark out where this is going to pass through on my center front area so i'm going to take my chop now and measure that out and then i'm going to mark it out so like i said i measured four inches earlier you don't have to follow four inches you want a particular style that you want to follow you just need to follow that style but just for the sake of having something like a measurement i'm just going to mark it out or I'm, i can just use my free hand to mark out where i want this to follow so using my chalk now it's going to go through my shoulder then come down like this then just that just mark it anyhow so once you're sure of where you want to place it this other hand that you have not sewn i'm going to fold it in i'm going to fold in the same allowance like this and then i'll fold it in so that it can be neat and then i'm going to place it here so i'll place it here i'll pin it and then after pinning it i'm going to sew on it so this is how you are sewing it you don't want this rough edge to show so you're just going to fold in this rough edge now then you place it so you try to lift this hop and then sew underneath it so that by the time you finish sewing it this is going to just rest on it and your seam line is not going to show so i'll take this to the machine now and then sew it so by the time i sew it i'll have this coming like this and then it's going to form my ruffle for me so remember for this ruffle the width i used was around 12 inches so if you want don't want yours to be this wide you can just use eight inches you can use six inches depending on what you want to work with so i've gone ahead to pin this down as you can see i have pinned it the next thing is just for me to go over to the machine now and sew it down so after sewing it down i'm going to close up my side seam again and then i'll take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what this looks like so the ruffles is sewn now you can see my seam here and then your ruffle is just going to cover it up for you so it's not going to be showing so this is what we have and then this is the excess that you're going to be joining to your skirt if you have in, if you are going to be adding this to a full gown so this is these are the ruffles here you can make it as full as you want and like i said when I gathered it, the 120 inches was not enough for the fullness that I want. So I just made it really full in front like this and then I stopped it at the back where it could get to. So this is our illusion and like I was explaining when we were drafting. So this is what 4 inches gave me. 
so if you go more than this it may be exposing your nipple and you don't want that so you have to be mindful of how open you want the chest area to be so this is what the full view of this blouse is looking like and it's really gorgeous as you can see i hope you enjoyed making this tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and if you are going to be having this on both sides the same thing we did here is what you just need to repeat on this other side i'll see you in the next one bye